Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a, um, a few experiments today uh, and these are just experiments uh, for me uh, and I'm just going to share them with all, all of you that are interested in watching. Um, I'm not trying to make a point here, I'm trying to learn for myself some of the viewing angles and perspective with the forward cameras, the B-pillar cameras, and even the bird's eye view 360 camera. Um, what I'm going to do is a series of runs uh, with a, a piece of uh, hard cardboard paper covering up the B pillar and the forward cameras at different times and then try to film the, with the bird's eye view what the representation is here. Um, I've got a drone operator today to help me with the drone and also uh, the drone operator is going to be sitting in this seat here kind of moving the screen because obviously to get this display you need to be sitting in the seat. Um, and I think even in drive to get a good one. So we'll probably drag this down to the bird's eye view and see if we can see uh, some moving vehicles like this. Um, if this works successfully, I might even go out um, to my unprotected left turn intersection and see some oncoming traffic and see uh, with different um, covered cameras what the um, oncoming traffic looks like in the FSD display with both the B pillar and or the forward facing uh, 120 degree camera uh, covered up. All right, so we'll get this set up and uh, hopefully it will um, work out. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a, a voiceover for this part of the test. Basically what I've got is the drone overhead and right now no cameras are blocked. So you can see in the lower left-hand corner, I've zoomed in on the bird's eye view. It's kind of blurry, but you can see uh, me walking around trying to create um, the 360 kind of scenario. But from the drone view on the right, you can see actually where I am. Okay, now I'm covering up the forward facing cameras. And actually, if you notice, the windshield wipers start going off. I just let them go. I didn't bother messing with them. Um, also, the interior display darkened because um, the daylight sensor obviously was covered up also. So I did adjust the brightness a little bit to improve that. And for the third test, I removed the paper from the forward-facing camera and replaced it over the B-pillar on the left side. So just the left side camera was covered for the third round.
Okay, so that was the uh, around the car experiment. Let's try it on the intersection. I'm gonna try uh, to get some intersection footage here with the drone. I don't have anything on the cameras right now. Um, and I'll go out to the intersection and uh, I do have a destination to the left and we'll see uh, what the camera can see. I might have to engage um, FSD just so it can widen up the screen here a little bit. Yeah, let's see how this works. Okay, so I've got nothing on the B-pillar camera and I'm ooching out as far as I can see. All right, I'm just starting to see cars there. I'm in the crosswalk, but not quite at the edge of the road. All right, from the B-pillar position, I could just now start to see down the road. That's a pretty good position. See a little, a little bit of oncoming traffic created there. Traffic is just not quite as heavy right now as it might uh, normally be. Got a car coming, so I'm gonna do a quick loop. Okay, coming back out here, just for clarification, I'm not planning on having the car drive at all with any sensors blocked. I'm just trying to get some viewing perspectives here with some traffic interaction. Um, got some good cars coming here that might be visible both in front of us and from the side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, piece of paper on uh, the B pillar in just a second. There's nobody uh, behind me. There is a car approaching from the front. Okay, the B pillar is now covered. And I'm just gonna show this perspective a little bit. As you can see, it's even grayed out here a little bit, and I think we're getting a good perspective of where uh, the forward camera fades away. Back up just a little bit for a pedestrian. Get a good view of the pedestrian. And where he goes away. Right there. That was a good example. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit further forward. Okay, there's a car coming behind me, so I'm just gonna sit here for a second, and then I'm gonna have to do another loop. Okay, I'm, I'm driving this manually. There's sensors blocked, so there is no automation being used here, just for clarification. Uh, you can see the windshield wipers are going because I've got the front camera blocked. Um, so, let's see what we get here pulling out and looking into traffic with the front camera blocked. All right, there's nobody kind of coming down from the side at the moment. So here's kind of a front view. A little bit dim here. There's a car behind me, so I've got to do another turn here. Okay, I've gone around the block. Um, actually, you can see I've got a car right in front of me here, and it completely can't see it. So I think that is a uh, is the point that you can see there. There is no forward-facing camera being used. Uh, obviously, the sign about it being blocked is a good point too. Um, so here's just kind of the angle. This car is waiting on crossing traffic. Interesting how it's projecting a road straight ahead where one doesn't exist. That's an interesting outcome here too. 
Uh, the maps don't even think it's there, but somehow it's creating a phantom out in front. So that's like, maybe this is the prediction algorithm of it's predicting things it can't see. That's a very interesting outcome there. All right, there's nobody behind me, so I should be able to stay here for a few seconds. There's some oncoming cars to the left. Didn't see them at all. There's an emergency vehicle. So now, sort of what we're seeing is where the camera, actually the side camera, gets projected and or lost in the middle. There's a car just stopped right in front there. There's no car there for sure. Um, looks like it lost the roads all com completely here for a second. I may, it may have just frozen. Yeah, it's, uh, there's cars traveling, but there's nobody here. I'll go ahead and hit uh, park. See if I go back into drive, if it will restart it. No, I think I've kind of thrown it for a loop. Okay. Uh, so I think that wraps it up. I think I don't have anything else to show you. It froze for the moment and obviously it froze. Oh, it came back on. I'll, I'll, I'll go for a few more seconds here. Never know what I'm going to get. A lot of phantoms. That truck does not exist. It's seeing bikes and things that aren't there now. Um, very, lots of cars approaching here now. Looks like the side camera's picking them up. And then, it's, and then it, I'm going to kind of go from the front. You can kind of see where they disappear and then they reappear. Very interesting. I'm loving this projection out front, though. That's fascinating me. That little prediction of something that isn't there uh, when the camera's blocked. Okay, I think that's all I've got for you. Uh, looks like my drone operator says we're about out of battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a wrap. And um, I will put this together. Let's have a conversation about what we think we saw here. 